Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video, and today I want to talk about um, Kerbal Space Program, which is a game I haven't visited or talked about in a while, but I want to talk about why I think the game is kind of dying, because I've noticed that Kerbal Space Program, over the past, I'd say, eh, like, year, year and a half, just kind of started going downhill in terms of views and community watches and just videos being made on it. And I think it's because that the game kind of slowed its development down. Obviously, it released and, you know, it kind of got nothing really after that. I mean, we got quality of life stuff and more creativity like air brakes and different, you know, quality controls to make it you know, on the gameplay side of things, make gameplay easier and a little bit more streamlined. But other than that, the modding community has kind of just slowed. There's not a lot of new mods. It's very hard to mod the game. If you Even if you can look up how to install mods, very hard to mod the game sometimes. Other times it's really easy. And it's just kind of in full release, but some aspects of it are still as if it's a niche game, right? Like, made for the, the people that kind of aren't new to it. There's still the old veterans. I've played this game a lot. And the biggest issue with the game for me is how much time it takes to do stuff in the game, okay? Now, this is from the point of view, I know that there's a faster time warp mod. And this is the problem with the game, is... It's like Minecraft where it relies what well, relies right now so much on mods to make the game good. Because Minecraft did and now Minecraft really doesn't have to rely on mods anymore. KSP still relies on mods, but it takes so freaking long to do things in that game. Like after, you know, there's the building and the flying the ship and the you know, sending the space pieces out, but anywhere past like Duna or Eve and even landing on something like Ike or Gilly, or maybe even Drez, it takes a long, long time to get that stuff done and to do missions in the base game, right? There's just quality of life things that need to happen for the game. And there's still, you know, time warp glitches in the game that new people just don't really, you know, like it's uh, for us, the veteran players, it's easy to ignore, but for new people, it's not that easy to ignore, right? But th it just takes so long to do stuff in that game. Like you can say you have a thousand hours in Kerbal Space Program. How many hours is you just sitting there watching your spaceship float around in space, right? It's so long. And especially, this is like a very weak point of career mode is the main career involves you going basically to every planet, right? There's kind of those main career missions that never expire. I call that the main storyline. And the problem with the main storyline is that it has you go to all the places, which means you go to Jewel, you go like all the way out to Jewel so many freaking times and land on all the moons. I think you land on all the moons. Yeah, I've had missions to land on at least two moons and go to Jewel. And the problem is is they don't give you all the missions to complete. You have to do the missions in order. And if you don't do them in order, you don't get new missions, right? So if you're a veteran player like me and you've done that stuff, yeah, it's easy to do that. But if you're a new player, it's really hard to get to Jewel. It's hard to get anywhere past the moon or even Minmus. So I really think there's a lot of content in this game, by the way. Kerbal Space Program has a lot of content, but the space exploration part of the game needs to be changed somehow. Honestly, the time, the teleportation where you can teleport to your place in orbit, right? Like you, you can do that where you pick a spot and it speeds it up and slows it down so you land exactly there. I would say literally make it to where you can click on any part of your orbit and teleport there, right? Speed the game up and teleport there and just do something like that in the game, all right? 
Mods can make this game infinitely better, but it relies too much on mods. That's what I think the big problem is, is this game, to actually replay this game, to have fun with this game beyond the initial flying to, you know, stuff, to really get into the game, you need to have some form of, oh, I'm going to mod the game, you know, and invest more time into doing things on the, like, out of the game than actually doing stuff in the game. Right, that's the biggest problem, is the game relies too much on mods. I'm going to use Halo as an example for this. Halo multiplayer, what they did was they made an amazing multiplayer first. Granted, that was based on years of be having a community. They made an amazing multiplayer, right? If you never touched Forge in Halo Reach, or 4 or 5, I haven't played 4, so I'm going to use Reach because everyone's played Reach at this point. If you did not use Forge in Halo Reach, you could have such a good time in multiplayer. And then what happened, which this is happening in this happened in KSP a few times, is they made player made maps become like a main map thing that you can get. But you still had to download these maps, mind you. But it was so easy to download these maps. It was all built in game. So what I think Kerbal Space Program developers need to do is take like the mod i don't know how you mod i don't know how you mod but here's what i think you make a program where you mod right you just make like a dev kit or something or not even a dev kit but to mod kerbal space where i make it a requirement that there's a very simple automated just button activate the mod if you download the mod and you download the mod, you have to put an installer with it that installs it into your KSP files. If you ha made it so all the mods had installers, right, and this is something that I don't know how achievable it is, but if you made it so all the mods had installers, or at least the major mods, you helped make mod installers, or just a Kerbal Space Program mod installer that could analyze any mod file that you download and install it into the game, if you did something like that, I think it would make modding the game a lot more fun. Where you just click a button, look at the mods, click download, the thing installs it for you, all automated on your computer, and you just click activate mod, yes or no. Right? And then make it so the game notifies you if there's conflicting mods. That's literally all you would need to do to make this game at least last until something's added. Because planets have not been added into this game since Elu, which was years ago. All right, ship parts have kind of been added. Bigger ship parts have been added, which, take it as you will, I think it definitely needed to happen. Um, a third class, maybe even a fourth class of ship parts, like a, like a super freaking huge size of ship should be added. But I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Do you think KSP, like what I just said, easing up the mod process for KSP. Do you think that would help the game a lot? I think it will, but I want to know from you guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new because I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog, or whatever I decide to make.